pop news. It, it's always National Something Month. Uh, <laughs> apparently, it's National Sandwich national, Month. It's National Sandwich Month, and since I know you guys always like for me to go straight to the food, here we go. We're kicking things off with this larger-than-life dish. Behold these creations from O Bagel. Amazing. With four different locations in New Jersey. This is a huge bagel. It's about 30 pounds. No. Oh my goodness. They have a different variety for every flavor on this table. We've got one mm. filled with bacon, eggs, pepper jack cheese, Jersey pork roll, jalapenos, and then you got hash browns with chipotle sauce. I'm eating okay. that one. We have the pastrami, a turkey oh. club, and then the lox cream cheese version. I think I got the pastrami. Um, Rob's yeah. trying yeah. <laughs> desperately to get a grab. Is there any controversy over whether you could do a sandwich uh, technically with a bagel? I was thinking, is a bagel a sandwich? A sandwich. Anything in between two pieces of bread is a, sa is a sandwich. Oh. I, don't, I don't know. I guess I considered a bagel something different, but creator and chef Stephen L. Hassan says he was trying to come up with something different, and he did. And everybody's happy, and it's about as big as a car tire. Oh my goodness, this is it's phenomenal. heavy. Phenomenal. Okay. I've never seen a bagel so big. Thank you to our Hoboken friends. Put your mouth around that. Now, let's talk about tennis champ uh, Serena Williams channeling the fabulous 50 for one amazing baby shower as everybody digs in. Uh, check out these pictures with her pal Sierra posted on social media. Of course, we got Eva Longoria. We also have Lala Anthony in the picture and Kelly Rowland. Is that her squad? Yeah, one of her girl squad. Mm -hmm. They're at uh, West Palm Beach. Florida at a diner and of course you see the poodle skirts going on they're dressing up and she's celebrating her first baby exciting oh it's good for her yes okay let's talk about a new most watched video of all time right now go Despacito. Despacito. I could like, I just like the beat. Rob's getting it. Get it, get it. I love it. Yeah, the smash hit from Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee racking up more than 3 billion views in seven months. The first YouTube video ever to pass the 3 billion mark. You can catch them right here August 16th on GMA. Is this a song where you do the stanky leg or? No. What you know about the stanky leg? That is not the stanky leg. No, no. do the stanky leg. Be much better. Stanky leg's a little too fast for Despocito. Mm -hmm. That's eating the bagel. It surpassed Gangnam Style. Remember Gangnam Style? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's that again, Adrian? Gangnam Style. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> regardless of how good your serious face, serious, serious face is. There it is. We have some words that bring on the giggles. At least that's what psychologists, I cannot say this without smiling, from the University of Warwick are saying after analyzing 5,000 randomly selected words. So I'm going to see if each of you will crack a smile. Ready? Yep. Booty. Yep. Sure. I see some smiles. <laughs> Knitwit. Because we're all very sophomore. That's why you're going to see. <laughs> how, about, good. how about Waddle? Waddle's cute. I don't smile. No, at waddle. waddle makes me yeah. think of being nine months pregnant, which I've been three times, and that <laughs> was, that's more anger than. <laughs> oh, anger. Angry Waddle looks good. Angry, Angry Waddle. Uh -huh. Okay, Bebop. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's Bop. old school. Mm -hmm. Egghead. Who uses that word anymore? Hilarious. Apparently men and women find different <laughs> words different. But just for the record, you've got some swagger in your waddle.